friends, today we're here in beautiful East Texas, right out here in the country at this amazing wellness center. I'm so excited to get inside and talk to these ladies. I've heard so much of great things about this great place. Come on in. What we wanted to do is accomplish a place where people could come to heal the whole person. I think culturally we tend to find people kind of segment. We segment out the person medically. We segment out a person based on like, oh, they, they exercise or here's your nutrition. And sometimes people look at like just their niche, but when we do that, we miss seeing the whole person and what they really need on an overall you know, picture, a comprehensive approach. Um, so we really wanted to have a place where everything was under one roof and where our team could work together. We have medical massage, lymphatic drainage, and then we also have red light therapy, and we have new calm, and then we have a, an infrared sauna. And so each one of those pieces are part of, while it's body work, it's still also part of kind of connecting mind and body. Anytime someone comes, we want them to enjoy being here. So they can sit in a relaxation room, they can walk the trails, we have a pool. People can come for one service, they could come for five. And depending on just what they need, we're here to serve them. So your upstairs level mm -hmm. are counseling offices. Counseling offices and nutrition. We joke that we do work upstairs where the client has to do the work for themselves. Downstairs, the massage therapists do it for them. Oh, <laughs> so wow. they mm -hmm. really are a major part of the healing process. The other part of what we do here is yoga. Mm -hmm. So movement is another major part of the healing process for the person. You and I probably both have experienced, you can be walking on the treadmill and there's nothing wrong, wrong with walking on the treadmill, but you can be walking on the treadmill and your brain can be anywhere. You can be thinking about a listing agreement or a conversation you had with someone. And in yoga, you have to get your mind and your body and then your spirit and your soul all working together and all on the same page and that's the beauty of yoga. We have regular yoga classes which are a little more active, a little more movement and then we have restorative yoga classes which are a little more chill focused on stretching, relaxing, but you get the benefits of yoga either way. I think one of the things I love at Living Well is there's a really neat collaborative uh, team team culture here. We, we care about each other, we know each other. Nobody feels uh, like they can't say, hey, I'm really unsure of what direction to go. What would you guys do in this situation? We don't have to be at this particular place to engage in pursuing wellness. Um, but I do think we want to, we don't want to wait until we're in emergency crisis mode. We can do triage in a sense, <laughs> like we can help people in crisis, um, but I think we're worth taking care of even before we get to that point. Okay guys, that's a wrap. This place was absolutely amazing. You have got to check it out. I've made a list and a list of friends that we're gonna bring out here to this amazing place and just breathe. I'm Cindy Featherston Shields with the Property Shop EXP, your community expert. 